Hello, beta tester. In the background, I'll be playing the song Colors by Beck and splicing in a bit of the music video. If you appreciate it, please gift me a song on Fortnite who just released their rock band mode. After I fell in love with the video, I realized it was directed by Edgar Wright. Maybe you've heard of him. The performances of the background dancers in the video cannot be understated. They commit. And no matter how absurd something may seem to the untrained eye, I think we can always pick up on someone going for it. I'm still salty Edgar Wright didn't get to direct an Ant-Man movie when it was a match for him. Beta testers, like this video and comment or correct me below, but I believe that freedom is what often allows something to be special. Uh, like Guardians of the Galaxy was, because at the time the MCU did not really care and was willing to give Gunn some agency. When the talent comes together to execute, putting themselves aside, it's like an ensemble that has the awareness and understanding of when to be loud and when to blend in. It's so easy to get immersed when people commit. Sometimes things get too high profile, too much attention, inevitably compromise, too many cooks, goes to shit. But it's my belief that the people willing to divorce noise in favor of music are currently at odds with the lazy hacks phoning it in. It's unfair to those giving it their all, and I understand life is unfair, but it's such a shame to dilute what was once so potent, and worse, deliberately poison it so anyone who drinks from it is worse off. I won't let these vandalizers rob our culture of art, and for all the empathy men are supposed to lack, I can taste the distress and frustration of nerds, gamers, board game players who just wish for fun and a escape. For people to be honest and not treat the truth like abuse or harassment. One side is often not even allowed to speak. And what the fuck does that say about a lack of civility and democracy that we're supposed to champion? I used to get so mad I couldn't see straight. Less for me and more for the other people powerless in situations that they can't help. Because these little moments that we can grab and share and laugh are what take the edge off and relieve the pressure and the tension so that we can get what we need to get done, done. These entities with vegan energy desperate to tell you what they identify as because it must matter to us since it matters to them. They deny science and push for silence. They deny truth and push for censorship. Call of Duty is currently cancer, and the more I play Fortnite, the more the one question keeps rolling in. Kyle, is Fortnite fun? Man, fun's been what I try to extract out of everything that I do. It's organic sometimes, but other times the fun comes in spite of the experience. And if it's impossible in the moment, just push past right now and maybe someday you can tragically reminisce in a laughably pathetic way that at the very least, you're not still there. Call of Duty for years has taken the fun out of the experience. If fun was a balloon, Call of Duty deflates, slows people down, breaks things that used to work, SBMM in casual modes and disbanding lobbies ruin the entire experience. Hiding stats on a scoreboard in a competitive shooter, can't even get the play of the game to work right, it's been years. They're so boneheaded that they can't even advertise things they're selling in their shop properly. No video playing for their emotes, not even like a, a GIF. Wow, man! At the end of matches, it goes max opacity, so you can't see the enemies or even like use your little. Uh, you, they programmed an inspect weapon into the game specifically for the end of the match, like this, so you can advertise for anybody who's forced to look at this person get their kill. It could be like, look at this gun wrap. Don't you want to go to the shop and get that? But they're too stupid to be imaginative to manage this. Imagine if at the end of a Fortnite lobby, Battle Royale, you know, pops up on screen. You made it, last survivor of the hundred people who came in here. But before they give you time to emote, it just quickly went to a blurry screen and you can't do anything. Is that moving product, you fucking morons? 
You know, and people shouldn't baby you. That's how you get where you are on that Goo Goo Gaga filled up diaper. You mad at a joke that a fucking voice actor told tame ass joke. And you really mad about that? You got to be told by men to delete your bitch ass tweet. Fuck wrong with y'all. When you can't even manage selling things properly. That's when you know you fucked up because that's their top priority. And if the minds aren't there for it, the minds are are nowhere. When you hear about Call of Duty developers whining over a tame joke on the fact that their garbage campaign was phoned in by developers who have been phoning it in for years, we recognize how soft the American gun game developer has become. Pride flags were in your game at launch. Don't think I forgot, but the country flags weren't there. That's kind of crazy, right? Just like how I show you that Brian Intahar prefers a life of strange bike riding portion in a fucking superhero game with pandering, 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 bro. A game as focused as Call of Duty might as well be a sports game without a ball. A content creator says, leave children alone. And this mature game, by the way, removes their collaboration. Devs getting backlash over the same thing they get backlash over every fucking year. If you watch my streams, you know I'm a shotgun rusher and you can hear them pretend that their game is feature rich with so many additions. Look how big the number is. But if I can give you a microcosm, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 claims a large amount of weapons because it rolled over the weapons from Modern Warfare 2 because this game is really just an expansion, right? But did you know they dramatically nerfed many of the weapons to the point where most of them aren't even viable? to be used here are my shotguns from the last game <laughs> and as you can see their effectiveness has been reduced by over a factor of half and even that might not be so bad if Call of Duty players weren't constantly dealing with hijinks that they're documenting and wild inconsistencies as it pertains to the damage output of their weapons people who've been playing for years and know what being robbed tastes like because SBMM sticking finger sniffing panty wearing jackasses on our team and fighting hot Koreans that are for some reason playing Call of Duty to put on the other team for us to fight. Money's no object, Call of Duty, but y'all refuse to innovate. Instead, you go backwards, and the culturally explosive Call of Duty that took the world by storm by allowing lobbies to grant consenting adults the ability to tease each other and inevitably reach the climax of demanding a 1v1, that camaraderie silently formed between people in the lobby where they're just staying in the lobby to really kick the shit out of people running their mouth. That's gone it's all gone now the friendships that would have been born out of assholes meeting up and inevitably coming around making each other laugh and that's gone that's what gaming moments are made of and now streamers have to force them in your game that's the content people are watching streamers are looking for whatever man Resisting how the game wants us to play to tilt lobbies and annoy people, it's just inside some of us. Because when we can tell they can taste that we're finessing them, it's what it's all about. But the only language these pussy developers speak is nerfs, so it's like pointless. I feel like I'm just preaching to the choir. I can safely assure any thin-skinned Saints Row developer that the bed that's being made is something Call of Duty gonna have to lie in. Would you want us to lie in it? How pathetic a state must the game be in if they're forced to finally mention SPMM? I'm into Fortnite because I've enjoyed watching the experience evolve. I was overjoyed with the robust creative tools that they made available to kids for free and in a world where Halo's in the hands of out of touch, greedy, dyed haired hacks whom just like Intihar would rather be making anything but Halo, none of them should have any desire to use Forge. Seeing the E for everybody and the T for team branding on these racing Brock band Lego Minecraft modes, of course has me wondering, shit, they gon' they gonna figure out a mature mode eventually? I keep trying to tell people, Fortnite's first person mode is something that I eagerly await taking shape. How might those maps play? And will every lobby disband because of harsh SBMM? Seems to me like when Fortnite sees a loud enough complaint, they quickly address it. Maybe the question's less, do they care, and more, are they committed? However whip-cracky things may be behind the scenes, it seems 
to matter. Call of Duty developers really got so salty over a joke with truth highlighting the short length of their campaign. Length is recognized and Call of Duty mad about it. That's a pretty sandy vagina, man. Deleting those tweets again highlights that someone more intelligent stepped in to inform on what a bitch ass, screechy, and looking for a tea bag set of motherfuckers you scrotum swallowing, pubic hair coughing, dumpsters full of cum, found the time instead of working on a fucking game to jump on your Twitter and have something to say about a freaking tame voice actor's joke. Gross. This is Dia. And I shouldn't have to make her a try hard to enjoy a match with her. She makes the experience more fun. But I know that if I lined up a bunch of kills, it'd probably only be because SBMM has finally decided to let me win one with a less sweaty enemy team. Most people might resist anything calling itself a metaverse, but with Fortnite, the price is right and the quality of the experience is something that most people might glance at and want to try. Again, gift me some songs in, in Minecraft here. Oh, forgive me, it's called uh, Fortnite, right? YouTube underscore Kyle, that's the name. Oh, yeah. Call of Duty developers, I've been a long time fan, but you know, I need them to understand. It's going to be diminishing returns from here on out, man. Um, watching the Game Awards and hearing all these people reply to all the garbage as accessible and inclusive and for everyone because their monkey brains think that every experience should be for everyone. It's weird. That's what the ratings are for. You know what I mean? The fatality game should should not be for everyone <laughs> you know so keep shaving the titties off of women nether run whatever you got to do cover them all up but uh diminishing returns no the call of duty thrill per kill blood execution and sh shoot them up should not be for everybody but you're you're saying you you don't want to punish the shooter in the shooter game Ooh boy diminishing returns GTA not punching down to pander and sanitize itself because a, a superhero game should be more about this human Mary Jane strong woman self insert fucking fuck you man diminishing returns. The word that we use is neuter but these woke pussy hacks are so jizz crusted that they're ignorant enough to neuter a prize animal whose fucking seed could be sold. Beta tester, if you have time and energy to spare, create, man. I love you to death. I'll stay up all night making some of these videos no matter what because I should be playing. And when things get good again, that's where I'm going to go back to. It's been a great year. You know, these games are beautiful, but many of them are in their own way. And it's a shame that much of the work from the talented people is being dragged down. And what do you want me to say here? Because it's like the world's tastiest pie, but it's shit icing. Ridiculous. Patrons, I love you. I'm sorry. My God.